I'm Bill at Highland Hill Farm in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and today I'm going to take you out in the nursery and show you deer damage to our nursery stock and why deer need to be better controlled in eastern Pennsylvania. This is a block of Elegantissima arborvitaes. Normally the deer don't eat these, you don't see much browse damage, but rubbing is the critical problem here. Every tree in this block will be ruined by the deer by the end of this year or next year. There is a tremendous population of deer in this area this year. In other years we haven't had such a population problem, but this year it seems to be exceptionally bad. I'm going to take you over and I'm going to show you the cryptomeria over here as well. The cryptomeria over here, we had over 150 of them planted in this block over here next to the Elegantissima and not one is going to make it to market. We do allow hunters here at Highland Hill Farm and you can see the reason for the problem here. We have a lot of open space, we're next to a park and there's plenty of food. In this field right here, there's soybeans. In the next field over, there's corn. There's nice hedgerows for them to sleep in and hide in, so they have plenty of cover, food, and water is just about 100 yards down into the woods. There's several woods around here where the deer lay during the day, and they come out and browse in the evenings and the mornings. So if you want to hunt these deer, we do have a program here at Highland Hill Farm. But now I'm going to show you why these trees will die. Many of these trees are rubbed completely around the bark. Any tree that's completely rubbed around the bark will die. And as you can see, there's right down the line, there's buck damage that's very severe here. This tree was damaged last year. And over here, this tree looks fairly good right from here, but when you walk around it, it's shot. Now, these trees become a vector, a harboring place for a beetle that's very infectious. It's called the Japanese cedar longhorn beetle. The primary host of that beetle are these cryptomeria. And these cryptomeria are weakened and weakened trees are a prime place for the beetle to survive and to thrive. So all these trees in here are going to be killed. We're going to brush hog every single one down and we're going to chip and burn. Some will be chipped, some will be burned. The ones that are going to be chipped are the larger ones, the smaller ones we're going to put in a pile and burn. And you can see there's not a tree in this row that will survive. Now the interesting thing is down here we have no problem raising some hardwood trees. As many deer damage as there are here, the hardwood trees that we raise don't seem to be bothered as much. In fact we've been out here harvesting some and digging some. And the reason for that is this. These are river birch, and they're multi-stemmed. Multi-stemmed trees such as this, the deer don't rub as much. The bark that's peeling here is the natural peeling of the river birch. These are heritage river birches. Now if you notice, what we do is we leave all these suckers around the tree. And when we do that, the deer, when they go to rub this tree with their antlers, these branches get in their eyes and they don't like that. So it's sort of a natural defense against the deer. <clears throat> now over in this section over here, these are trees that the deer don't normally eat. This is a copper beech, but they will rub them. But they have pretty much left those alone. The other issue here that comes into play is these trees up in here are opportunistic. The deer come in off the field and this is the first set of trees that they find. So normally in the nursery we find trees closer 
to where the deer enter a field to be more at risk. And as you can see, there's deer damage and buck damage everywhere. You can see a deer started here, but didn't do any damage. Here come some geese. But you can see they'll as you go further down the line, there'll be less and less damage, but the first trees always get rock hard, and some of the interior ones will start to show some damage. This is a fresh buck rub. I came by here yesterday, and this tree was fine. And you can see the foliage on this is just freshly rubbed. And of course, again, as you see, this is an opportunistic tree. It's on the edge of the, the place where we're growing trees here. And of course, these will be the first trees that will be attacked by the deer.